Five years ago, I quit my job and started a new career in marketing with no experience. Am I catching you at a good time or we set up a meeting that afternoon? I'll let you know how it goes. Here's how that happened. The year was 2016. I had just spent $50,000 in the last four years of my life in a classroom getting a communications degree, which helped me secure a job working for one of the world's top 20 largest companies. But after only a year or so into my career, I started noticing some concerning things. First of all, I saw my boss's boss, the vice president, was showing extreme signs of stress all the time. And I also started to discover how unfulfilling my and my colleagues work really was. And it was at this point I came to a sad realization that I don't really like this career at all. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I quit my job to start a new career with no experience. More specifically, I decided to start a dropshipping business. This business was one of a few side projects that helped me discover my passion for marketing, but more importantly, helped me gain confidence and develop valuable skills that would come in handy later on. More on that in a moment. And so miraculously, without any prior marketing or business experience, that business of mine became a massive financial success, generating more than one and a half million dollars in sales, and even causing me to be featured on the cover of Forbes magazine. Actually, that's not even close to what happened. Despite immersing myself into all sorts of marketing education and doing my best to generate sales, that business would only end up generating about $2,000, making me question if I had made a big mistake leaving my communications career. I ended up quitting the business a few months later and moved on to something new. So there I was, unemployed, with an unused degree, and no meaningful marketing experience or education. I decided to take another stab at it with a new business idea, even though my first marketing venture had failed. This time, I decided to explore the world of social media marketing. More specifically, running Facebook ads for local businesses. You see, despite my dropshipping site failing miserably, that store did allow me to gain some experience using Facebook ads. The problem was that I didn't know which types of local businesses to reach out to. So here's what I did. Step number one was to find businesses that were currently spending money on bus bench ads. Step number two was to cold call these businesses and pitch Facebook ad services. Thankfully, the very first business on that list, a real estate agent, gave me an opportunity and became my first client. And I struggled at first, only generating three leads in the first week for him. But after making a few adjustments, the campaign started to pick up and then started producing leads like wildfire. Over the next year, I fully invested myself into this new world of marketing by getting more clients, making this YouTube channel, and creating other businesses such as a print-on-demand business that sold customized phone cases and another print-on-demand business that sold customized wall canvases that looked like wine labels and a blog that got up to 1,500 monthly organic page views, and another blog that got over 2,000 monthly page views, and then another three or four blogs that, well, to be honest, those ones failed. And as you can probably imagine, after starting all of these side projects and running ads for more than two dozen real estate agents across Canada and the United States, I had learned a ton of useful marketing skills. I learned how to write persuasive ad copy that motivated people to click on an ad. I learned how to set up and optimize a successful Facebook ad campaign that generated leads. I learned how to do graphic design for ad creatives and print on demand products using tools like Photoshop and Illustrator. I learned how to use email marketing to nurture leads and schedule appointments for clients. I learned how to write sales scripts that helped helped my clients convert their leads into customers. I learned how to use analytics to evaluate and improve a campaign's performance. I learned how to use marketing automation to connect a bunch of these tools together, and then I made this YouTube channel's three most viewed videos teaching other people how to do the same thing. And none of these skills came from my previous career. I acquired these skills by simply choosing to do so. I wasn't happy with where I was, so I decided to make a change, but there was a problem. Despite everything I had learned and all of the progress I had made, there were things that I was simply not good at, such as running a business or focusing on one project at a time. Although I had acquired a bunch of useful skills and essentially become a self-taught marketer, I wasn't able to turn it into a sustainable income. And so something had to change. I had hit rock bottom, the lowest financial point in my entire life. I was earning barely enough money each month to pay my bills and still had looming student debt that I couldn't chip away at. I felt like I'd made so much progress, but I was no longer able to support myself without getting a job again. After a couple years of essentially teaching myself a new career, I had to retreat to where I was a couple years prior another communications job. Back to the thing I had already convinced myself I didn't enjoy. I started having flashbacks to that job again, miserable and locked in a cubicle. But then I realized something. I realized that I didn't have to go back to my communications career. I had enough experience under my belt that marketing jobs would actually take me seriously. So that's exactly what I started applying for. And sure enough, after only a couple short weeks and a few interviews later, I had my first official marketing job at a marketing agency. But that's not the end of the story. 
Even though I had secured a quote unquote real marketing job, I still needed to determine if my decision to become a marketer was a good one. Would I even enjoy this career more than my old one? I was also a little nervous to prove that my marketing skills would actually add value to these new clients as well. All sorts of doubts started creeping into my mind, making me feel a sense of imposter syndrome, like I wasn't the right guy for the job. That was until I had a chance to manage an advertising campaign for a luxury real estate developer. It was the perfect fit. With all my experience running Facebook ads for real estate agents, I felt like I could really add value here and help this client sell townhomes. Here was my opportunity to prove to myself and my employer that they had made the right choice choosing me. So here's what I did. The goal of the campaign was to generate appointments between the client sales team and people who were interested in buying a million dollar townhome. The strategy was to use Facebook ads and Google search ads to send people to a landing page where they could opt in for one of three lead magnets, a brochure, a 3D virtual tour, or information about available incentive programs. I wrote ad copy and emails, designed the landing pages, set up the conversion tracking and analytics, built the campaigns in the ad platforms, scheduled the automated sequence of emails, and used marketing automation to trigger real-time notifications and glue the whole thing together. And the result? After four months, we spent $16,000 in media spend and generated $6.9 million in townhome sales. Each of these sales could be attributed down to the specific ad the homeowner clicked on, the offer they downloaded, the emails they opened, and the links they clicked. At the time, that campaign felt like an important milestone for me. It represented my transformation from being an unemployed communications professional with a failed dropshipping business to a legitimate full-time marketer. And to this day, that remains one of the campaigns I'm most proud of. But here's the thing. If you really want to develop skills to take your marketing career to the next level, simply starting side projects isn't enough. And that's why you should watch this video right here because it's gonna show you exactly what skills you need to master this year to level up your marketing career.